Hi everyone, it's Rachel Smith with Compass up in Big Bear. Um, this one that I'm going to show you today is one of a kind, seven bedrooms, three stories, so you could have three different families living in this home and not even run into each other. Um, so we're gonna take a look at 998 Feather Mountain up in Whistling Forest, neighbor of Big Bear City. Uh, so come on the tour with me. Okay, so here we are at the street. Um, sort of uh, not so much through street. A um, couple things to notice is that it's got, you know, kind of a newer roof out here. You've got an entry down below right here. I'll just kind of, we're not going to go in this way, but as long as I don't slip. I'm going to show you a little bit down here. Um, so we've got the first story up here. You've got a second story right here. So you've even got your own garage to be able to park down here. And you've got enough room to like turn around, I would say. So you're, so for the second story, front door, garage, um, kind of coming down at an angle, but not the worst thing I've ever seen. You've got a nice retaining wall. And then for the third story, the entrance would be right there. So um, if you wanted these to be three different people in these homes, parking up top, parking right here, you could even have this person park a little bit more this way so that they could, and then you obviously need to build stairs down. Um, but a whole lot of opportunity or you could just be one of those people that keeps it all to yourself and you have seven bedrooms. Um, so pretty rare. Somebody would need seven bedrooms, but you never know. So property line right about there on this side. Then over here, you could actually separate these two garages off and give one of those to that third person down below. So property line right in the middle of that little tree stump thing right there. So let's go in and try and keep track of everything that we see. Um, first off, one thing to notice, could use a little bit of paint job mostly just on this side the rest of it seems to be really good um you are i mean paint here looks great covered porch leading in to this first story and so there are some like older features to the home um you know the blue carpet but it is you know nice like cushy carpet um, some vinyl flooring right here. Um, but what do you expect for seven bedrooms, you know? Big walk-in closet right at the entry. Um, so, here we have bedroom one. And you're going to have an identical bedroom right down below underneath this that is also going to have the same fireplace. So, I think total in here, we're looking at three fireplaces um look at these really thick nice quality so that is bedroom one and it is fireplace one you do have central heating which i also believe is going to be per floor so you can sectionally heat each floor so here we have fireplace two for the living room. Nice wood burning stove, really different, but gonna heat the house up quite a bit. And then we've got what would be our dining room right here. The owner's furniture has been out of here for a very long time. You do have dual pane windows. I'm gonna take you outside just so you can see better um, and see the ski slope views. This is a nice little pop-up right here. So 
So then back through the dining room. You've got kind of like a little eat at countertop right here. The kitchen should could could. I mean you might love it the way that it is, but could use a little remodel, obviously. Um you've got some older tile. Um cabinets could easily be refinished. Double oven, but you know, it's probably from the age of the home. Older appliances, but you have a nice pantry here, too. Really interesting sink right here. Um, that's the garbage disposal. And then you've got this, I think that's more of like a vinyl floor too. So, uh, I think I just found the third fireplace. But what I'm going to do is take you outside really quick. Just so you can see that. Nice hardy deck. Um, there have been a lot of decks in my life that feel like they are going to fall over. This one feels really sturdy. Um... Got a door drop down below. You do have a little road noise here from uh, North Shore. And then you're overlooking not the greatest view, but like the storage um, containers and then also the airport right here. So I think kind of the buyer on this one is really somebody that's definitely looking for a seven bedroom. Uh, could also be used as a good rental property too because renters don't really look at or think about what what's back here they're just enjoying it for the weekend um but let's look at the bright side of things which is that view um so you got a great great view of bear mountain and snow summit also san gregorio sugarloaf mountain um roof looks really good from here your paint is chipping a little bit back here on the trim work. And let me lock that. Okay, so back to the third fireplace. You got nice brick fireplace, wood storage area in here. Nice large mantle. And then we're going to be walking into our second bedroom. So this is, I would say, the master, master bedroom of all of them. Um, so you got a nice big king-size bed in here. And you have this same pop-out that is off the kitchen, too. It would make for... I don't know, it might be a little noisy for an office, but something. Then we're going to go into, we have a large walk-in closet. And then it's going to be like a Jack and Jill bathroom. So definitely some work needs to be done in here. Again, unless you love it the way that it is, um, you kind of have some older tile and the blue sinks. Although I do love, love, love these knobs. Those are really cool. So dual vanity. You have a separate shower and tub. It's like before rainfalls were a thing. A little bit of tile work, but carpet in the bathroom is something that a lot of people are starting to replace for a reason. Uh, bedroom number three. So on this top floor, we're looking at three bedrooms two bathrooms so far and three fireplaces 
So, again, just tile work. Would want to be done. And then, it's crazy, like a house like this, you have so many doors that you want to be able to check them all out. This one just holds the vacuum, ducting. Lots of closet space right here, too. Um, here we have the laundry room for the first floor. And then this is going to go into the garage. And so you could section off this garage and make it separate from, you know, if you wanted two people. Like you could put a little wall up there. Um, or just let the renters share a garage. Looks like a very large air compressor over there. Um, but it is finished off. It does have electrical. Kind of pretty much everywhere. And let's go. Out a couple more doors. This one, just a hall closet with a something for a carpet. Okay. I'm actually going to lock this door just because we've got three levels to go into. I'm just not have any. In. All right. Now, down to the second floor. This looks like a newer carpet. Going down to the second floor. It's kind of like a hall space. Um, you could easily lock this door off. And so here we have the laundry room for floor two as well as the garage for floor two also. This would need to have an auto lock on it. And then this is that entrance that we saw from outside. Um, so three bedrooms upstairs, this would be number four. Got a brick fireplace. Neighbors are secondary homes over here too. Uh, secondary homeowners, so in and out on occasion. Dual pane windows, so that part's already been done. So that is a fourth bedroom. And this area is plumbed for a possible kitchen or bar. Um, so you could have somebody living in here. It's like a second home. Or they would obviously need a kitchen. Um, so then we have just more of the living room. And I think we're at one, two, three, four, five, five, number five fireplace. And then... deck for these people in view as well and again really sturdy and then I totally missed this swing of the house when I went to go turn the lights on um, so bedroom uh, one two three upstairs four this is five Pretty large bedroom, double closets, and this is bathroom number four, three, three, well, half. Then we've got bedroom number one, two, three, four, five, wait, I'm losing count now. Uh, three upstairs, we've seen two down here so far, three, four, five. 
These floors have been updated. The rest of the bathroom, not so much, but still good. This is bedroom number six with again, dual closets and that Jack and Jill layout that the bedroom upstairs has. So pretty much the floors might replicate themselves because um, that does feel like the same floor plan from upstairs. So we have seen six bedrooms. Now, where are we? Going this way. We're gonna go down one more floor. Kind of more of a basement feel on this one and a little bit more simple than the rest of it. We have a safe, which I'll show you shortly. Um, So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bedrooms. Eight bedrooms. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Now, this is going to be the closet for it. This is going to just be dirt under underneath the house. Um, and this is going to be that door that I was showing you where you would need to build steps to come down. So, very large bedroom. No fireplace on this one. So this would be your kitchen or bar area that you could build out if somebody wanted to live down here full time. And this bathroom has been updated. So new floors, newer countertops. And then this is, you know, kind of timeless. I think you could get away with it especially for rental. One thing to note on this floor is we do not have laundry. Um, at least that's what I'm seeing so far. So three bedrooms up top, three bedrooms on the middle, two bedrooms down below. And two bathrooms upstairs, one and a half on the middle and one down below. So easy kind of way to divide up the home and tell you what is going on. Um, so in here, we have again, just like underneath the home space storage, could actually build out more space if you wanted to. Um, you do have the ability for three kitchens. Right now it's only got one kitchen which is actually smart too, because you have, um, in order to get a loan, you can only really have one kitchen. And then you have the safe room. So, all of this for just under a million bucks, Nine ninety nine, nine ninety nine, and you could have pretty much three built-in rental properties if you wanted to. Three different access points, again, and or if you just have one very large family, you could use it all to yourself. And I mean, a lot of these living rooms up here are pretty big enough to host seven bedrooms full of people. So let me know if you would like to come take a look. It is right now still available, one of a kind. Talk to you soon, bye.